March 20th, Friday Night Smackdown, Rob Gronkowski set to debut. Can't wait, that's going to surely save Smackdown. It's exactly what Friday Night Smackdown needs. Rob Gronkowski. So, on WWE Backstage, the show that should be cancelled, the one that gets like 40,000 viewers, we heard last night that Ryan Satin report Rob Gronkowski is pretty much finalising a deal with the WWE. So, in other words, we're going to get Rob Gronkowski in some kind of, like, a Cain Velasquez-type role, where he's just appearing on SmackDown. I mean, who asked for this? Why do we need Gronk on SmackDown? Why do we need Gronk at all? Okay, and you can just picture, just picture this. What are they going to do with Gronk? Probably have Gronk squash Sami Zayn, Nakamura, and Cesaro. You can picture that happening, can't you? One on three. Probably Gronk teaming with Braun Strowman and Elias to take on those guys. Gronk versus Chad Gable, Gronk versus Ali, Gronk squashing all these people. Like, it's going to be an absolute disaster. So, that's how I'm opening this video, just talking about this, like, Gronk story. We don't need Gronk on SmackDown, we don't need Gronk anywhere, okay? Bruce doesn't need to have Gronk at his disposal. So, that's the first bit to this video. This video is really just going to be me talking about a bunch of, like, different kind of news stories and things that are going on at the moment. Because I thought that would be something fun and something different to do. So, that's the first thing, Gronk in World Wrestling Entertainment. Secondly, the WrestleMania 36 poster. I'm only going to talk about this for like a little bit. This poster looks sick. Like, it actually does. I mean, I just wanted to throw this in the video because, I mean, I might as well. It's my channel. I can do what I want. But, I mean, look at this. Like, I mean, I don't know about having Charlotte on it. Like, you could have Drew McIntyre instead of Charlotte. But, anyway, that, that was a poster. Now to get on to the next topic. And the main topic of this video, realistically. Will... Or could WrestleMania 36 be cancelled, moved, either of those? Now, given the virus that's a pandemic at the moment, which I'm not going to say the first part of it because I don't want this video to just be shut down in the algorithm, but given the virus that began in China and everything that's happening with that and how, like, I know in Italy, they're playing soccer games in front of, like, empty arenas, the rumours that the NBA, the NHL, MLB could perhaps play games in front of empty arenas. Could we perhaps see a world where WrestleMania 36 takes place in front of no one? Like, even if the, the pandemic completely takes over the United States of America and it becomes a big deal in the next month. Let's say that. God forbid. I hope it doesn't happen. But let's just say it does. Would Vinnie Mac... Vincent Kennedy McMahon, would he cancel WrestleMania? No chance in hell. I've seen this story being rumoured a bunch lately. People are like, oh, well, WrestleMania could get cancelled because of the virus, the pandemic. Really? You think Vince McMahon would cancel a WrestleMania over anything? Vince McMahon could not care less about this, this virus that's going around. Vince McMahon couldn't care less. This is the same Vince McMahon who let a man literally die on a pay-per-view and he didn't cut the feed. Now, granted, that was a nightmare situation when you have Owen Hart fall from the rafters and tragically pass away in the middle of a, a pay-per-view. You either cancel the show right there and then you have people demanding refunds and it's a mess or you get, keep the show going on and you get people g giving you backlash. It's a nightmare of a situation. So... People are trying to tell me and the rest of the community that WrestleMania 36 could be cancelled. Please, stop it. it. If this was like the Black Death and anyone who got it died, then yes, you can understand WrestleMania being cancelled. But this uh, pandemic, this illness, when you get it, if your immune system is good and you, you, you know, you're fit, you exercise, you're youthful primarily... If you're in good health, you're not going to die. It's not going to be that bad, okay? You, you, you'll survive, okay? If, if you're you know, frail, your immune system's poor, then yes, you could well and truly easily pass away, and people have. But to think that Vince McMahon would cancel WrestleMania over this... Now, I saw some funny comments on some YouTube videos, like, th this news has gone around for like the past day or so, given what's happening worldwide with all these different sports and entertainment events cancelling shows. Like, in Japan, they've just called off all, like, entertainment shows. So, New Japan Pro Wrestling, all of that. And fair enough that you should be on high alert in, you know, the Asian countries especially. But 
literally, this whole thing, like, Vinnie Mac cancelling a pay-per-view. Now, as I said before, I saw some genius, some guy in the YouTube comments section, I forget who he was, but, you know, bring up the idea of moving WrestleMania to Saudi Arabia. And I got a kick out of that. That's gold. You can picture Vince McMahon, if it comes and if it actually happens that he's forced to move WrestleMania out of Tampa Bay, you bet that that show is going to Saudi Arabia. That's going to take place in King Abdullah Stadium, and the prince is going to be standing there with his um, one of those masks on, not the masks, but the, the thing everyone in China and the Asian countries and now all over the world have, try and protect their, you know, protect their mouth. And like, it's just an absolute disaster. So this virus, and because of everything that's going on with it, I mean, it's a legitimate possibility that it could affect WrestleMania. Now, personally, if they had World Wrestling Entertainment shows in front of empty arenas, it would be really weird. Like, the empty arena match at Royal... Oh, not the Rumble. Um, Halftime Heat 99 with Mankind and Rock. That was weird. Watching two wrestlers work in front of nobody. Like, having these superstars... Well, not anymore, because no one on the current roster is a big star, but if you had, you know, these wrestlers performing in front of no, nobody, it would just feel like you're watching two 17-year-olds at an indie show. Like, it, it just wouldn't feel right. Like, the, the WWA universe not being there would just make the shows feel so whack and bizarre. Like, heaven forbid, as I said earlier in the video, if this disease, this pandemic, absolutely takes over, and the cases and the deaths, like, really, like, take a spike then yeah, I can understand doing empty arena shows, really being cautious and cancelling your shows. But you've got to remember, this is Vincent Kennedy McMahon. This is a man who, at 74 years of age, could not care less about anything. He couldn't care less about how, talents look, how talent looks, couldn't care less about anything. Because this is a man who fired his two co-presidents, George Wilson and Michelle Barrios, because of what? He fired them because they didn't agree that signing guys for money they're not worth is a good business strategy, because it's not. Like, Vince McMahon, he absolutely could not care less, and to think that WrestleMania 36 could well take place in a Tampa Bay that's filled with this virus, but Vince wouldn't cancel it because he's Vinnie Mac. Like, WrestleMania, it's WrestleMania, it's going to go ahead regardless. Because Vince McMahon overrides all warnings from the government. Vince McMahon could not care less. And that's the whole point of this video. That's the whole point with any video you hear about this. When you're hearing about this story, just remember this. Vincent Kennedy McMahon will run this show whether the cases, uh, like, whether half America, half America is dying of this disease or whether no one is. He's going to run the show regardless. And if not, if he's absolutely forced and the government literally forces him to move the show, He's going to move it to Saudi Arabia for his bar gold, Vinnie Mac, to move to Saudi Arabia. Because Vince McMahon can do what he wants. So, I mean, that's basically the video. Just talking about these couple of topics. Gronk, Rob Gronkowski being on SmackDown and signing a deal with World Wrestling Entertainment. Gronk. So, we're expected to accept Bruce with Rob Gronkowski on SmackDown. Just, what an absolute joke. The WrestleMania post is now out. Fine. Oh, what, anything else to talk about? I mean, I guess, yeah, the main point of this video is just this virus. It's just absolute, you know, worldwide news. If you make it a YouTube video mentioning it with the actual name of it in the title or, you know, mentioning it during the video, you get either demonetized or your video barely shows up in the algorithm. YouTube are not promoting this at all unless it's a mainstream news service. In that case, it's going straight to the algorithm because... You know, YouTube don't want, you know, private individual creators reporting on it. They want these mainstream outlets who spread lies and fear and fear monger. It's just, I'm not even getting into like a politics rant in this video, but I, I hate the way mainstream media does that. It's so annoying how they try and make out that, oh, well, if you get this disease, you're going to die. Like, that's not the case. And it's not just a common flu either. It's a, it's a bit worse than a common flu. This is just all my, this is my opinion. So take it for a grain of salt, but... It's like obviously a little bit worse than a common flu. So Trump was wrong when he said that. But at the same time, it's not just the it's not the Black Death. If you get it, you're not going to drop dead within a day. Okay. If you live a healthy lifestyle with a good immune system and you know you're active and you eat well, it's it's not going to be an issue. You're not going to drop dead and be like you know killed on the spot. So that's pretty much the video. WrestleMania 36 and any pro wrestling show to begin with. 
and all these sporting events, will they be cancelled? Will they be moved? You know, done in front of empty arenas? Personally, if you ran a Raw show in an empty arena, you'd probably get the same crowd reaction as you do for some of these Raws. Same with SmackDown. Like, honestly, the, the, the no crowd thing doesn't bother me because that way they can't even have Michael Cole or whichever commentator say, oh, well, the WWE Universe is loving it tonight. Like, whatever. So that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Leave down below. What do you think of this whole virus thing and whether they're going to cancel WrestleMania 36, whether they won't. I, we know they won't, but what they'll do whether the demands come for them too, like, we're a month out from WrestleMania, everything's really amping up now with this virus, which I, I didn't say the name of during the video, so I'm proud of that, so, yeah, that's the video, like, comment, sub, you guys know the drill, see ya.